Why, hello you amazing watchers and welcome back to another video. Charlie here today to react to the first opening for Your Moon Gundam. An anime I actually know absolutely nothing about. I'm one who considers myself, though I do a lot of first time reactions, to be cursed with knowledge. <laughs> because yes, of course, with Overlord that I just recorded to, I of course know Veracity. And a couple of the other openings, which I can't get the name out of the top of my head. I did not know any of the endings because I hadn't watched Overlord. So even though I know a lot of anime, I just went over the 200 mark not long ago. So there's many shows I haven't watched. And Yormungando, way under my radar. And it's pretty high rated on now. So I'm actually going to do something I don't usually do. Read the synopsis. Bred up in a conflict-ridden environment, child soldier Jonathan, Jonah, Mar, hates weapons and those who deal them. But when Coco... Hek Matiar, an international arms dealer, takes Jonah as one of her bodyguards. He has little choice but to take up arms. Along with Coco's other bodyguards, composed mostly of former special ops soldiers, Jonah is now tasked with protecting Coco and her overly idealistic goal of world peace from the countless dangers that come from her line of work. Yormungando follows Coco, Jonah, and the rest of the crew as they travel the world selling weapons under the international shipping company HIC. HCLI. As Coco's work is illegal under international law, she is forced to constantly sidestep both local and international authorities while doing business with armies, private militaries, and militias. With the CIA always hot on her trail and assassins around every corner, Jonah and the crew must guard Coco and her dream of world peace with their lives or die trying. Huh. Interesting. Now, I do have an incredibly extensive a list of animes possible to watch. Let me type. Yeah, I just typed a Jor. And that's not on the list. You know, that actually sounds good. And probably the openings will finish convincing me, but I'll put it down right away. Your Mungando. That actually sounds good. It does sound a lot like Black Lagoon, which is interesting because the same user recommended Black Lagoon as something to react to. So yeah, thank you so very much. To the user Narbinetic300, who requested Yormungando, Bacano, Princess Principal, and Black Lagoon, none of which I have watched. So this will be a fun set to record. Uh, how many episodes did it come out with? Only 12, Spring 2012, and animated by White Fox. Not a studio that rings a bell. Oh, they did Steinskin and We Zero, a comic kill, none of which I watched. None of which I've watched, which is why I don't recognize the studio. Though I do recognize the Devils of Part Timer. They were the original studio. Gotcha. How I miss them. It was so much fun when they animated that show. Okay, gotcha. With all those things out of the way, all the nitty gritty. Let me pull up the video. That's still Overlord, you know. I've never been the best when it comes to this kind of thing. I know, <laughs> but we try. <laughs> so no more Overlord, Yormungando. Here it is. Ooh, that sounds good already. Why not go 4K? If there's the option for it, I'm not one to complain. So yeah, let me get my first time reaction to Yormungando's opening. Borderland by Mami Kawara. Oops. Okay. Assuming Jonah. Coco? She does look like a guy with long hair there for a second. If I had a daughter for every time anime has done that. Okay. Going at it strong. Wasn't meaning to pause there, but since it happened, Yormungando, isn't that the 
a snake that bites its tail in Norse mythology? Would be nice to know where that comes from. Why it's called that. Man, this brings me so back. If you told me this came out in the early 2000s, I'd believe you because it gives me those vibes. I was expecting a very different drop, but it's not one that I disliked. It was good. Okay, that's cool. Her just standing there. This seems like a very fun anime that when I get around to watching it will be so much fun. But am I the only one who thinks Coco has a crazy look to her? Like, this is the face of someone who the worst atrocities can be happening and she'll be smiling like that. Also, incredibly white. Like, yes, most in anime, many of the characters are very white, but she's like extra white. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, it's just something that stood out to me. It would be interesting to know more about her background if it's something on purpose. Uh, for example, I just came here to see because, yeah, she's Coco Hekmatiar. And that's definitely not a last name you would think of when you think of um, a Japanese last name. Trademark smile. Looking it up on Mal, but I don't see daughter of Floyd Hekmatiar. Shipping magnate, European and African logistics, pale alabaster skin. Yeah, I noticed that. Huh. Her trademark smile, which is present even under dire circumstances. Well, that I could tell. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to get around to watching the show someday to know. So thank you so very much for joining me on another one. Leave a like and subscribe. This will help in the comments. Any recommendations to openings or endings you'd like to do? <laughs> You'd like me to bring the channel. Until next time, though, Charlie signs off.